hey guys this is a proper task guide for properties all around for this task we do have to locate the real estate fund on streets of tarkov and then locate and obtain the tarkov real estate transactions document and then we do have to survive an extract and hand over the obtained information to proper so for this task we may require the real estate agency office firm key because there are six possible spawns for the records that we do have to check for in order to potentially find this transactions document and two of the possible spawns are going to be located inside of this locked room so this key can be found in the pots and bags of scabs as well as in jackets or in drawers or you can always just buy it from the flea market for usually between 90 and 150k rubles but there is also a potential spawn on streets in the real estate building itself just behind the reception desk as well which i will show you guys now in a moment so here's a map of streets and the location of the real estate fund is going to be next to the statue at the big cinema courtyard and now i will show you guys where you can locate the transactions documents in a raid so my PMC is here on streets and this is where the car extract is. The statue is going to be right here and then just more to my right is where the big cinema is located. So if I turn around a little bit more to the right then the real estate agency office is this large building with the house image and initials on the left of the title. So as we go into the building then you will firstly want to check behind the reception desk as I did mention earlier for the potential spawn of the real estate agency office room key. So if it did spawn in then it will be inside this key rack just behind the desk. However it is not a 100% spawn rate. After you have checked here, then you can move into the first office to the left of the staircase where there will be two potential spawns in this room. The first one is going to be to the right and inside the bookshelf next to this water cooler and the spawn will be in between the red and the blue binders. And now the other spawn inside of this room will be in the far right corner from the door underneath this red file folder on the ground. After we have checked both of these locations, then we are going to be heading up the staircase to the second floor and then the first door on our left is going to be locked. But if you do have the REA key, which is just the abbreviation for the real estate agency office room key, then we can use it here to unlock this door. Now inside of this locked room, then there are going to be two more spawns to the right side of this room on the first bookshelf on top of the horizontally stacked books. And then the other spawn in here will be in the bookshelf on this side closest to the windows in between the horizontally stacked books and the bookshelf itself, and it will be next to this blue waste bin. So after you check this room for the potential spawns, or if you didn't happen to have the key to unlock the door to check the spawns, then we will go to the far open office on the second floor on the right hand side. And inside of this room, then there will be again two more spawns for us to check. The first one will be in the second bookshelf on the direct right as soon as we enter into this room. And it will be in between the leaning green book and the bookshelf itself. And then the sixth and final spawn will be on the opposite side of the room where there will be two small bookshelves over on this side. And it will be in the top compartment of the left side beside the books just next to the calendar. After you have found the record, then you will have to survive an extract from a raid to be able to hand this item over to proper. But if you do happen to die in between finding the item and extracting, then you will have to come back to streets in order to find this item all over again. So hopefully you guys did find this guide useful and it did help you to complete this task. Thank you all so much for choosing my video to watch for this task. And I greatly appreciate you all. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link. And if you don't use Twitch, then I do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description. And we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels. So there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.